All right, so we are in a town called Runnels, Iowa. And what's really cool about being in Runnels, Iowa, it's the Iowa State Fair going on. So we're gonna get to check that out and we're gonna get to rebuild the drill. What more fun could you have? Those are two awesome combinations and we're gonna get to do them both right here. Stay tuned. This thing done. Josh was feeling pretty optimistic after starting to work on this, so that's a good sign. Not too bad of shape. All right, as Drake finishes up finishing touches here on the uh, disassembly. We're gonna call it a night. It's about 8.30. And uh, we've had a nice cool evening to do the disassembly. There's all the parts here in the back that we're gonna keep. Scrap parts, nice and neat. We're just loading our parts in the trailer and gonna leave it here for the night. But we'll be back in the morning and we'll be doing a final disassembly of the pivots, knocking out all the bushings and pins. Yeah, things are gonna go really well. They already are. This might be, uh, we might be done tomorrow. Could you imagine if we did an entire day at the Iowa State Fair as a reward for finishing this so fast? Wouldn't that be great? I think it would be. We'll see if we want to do that. All right, have a good night, guys. Well, good morning. Are we ready for this? As ready as you can be. Let's do it. <laughs> Oh, look at that beautiful sunrise. We decided to get up really early. It's about 6 a.m. Uh, we're gonna try to beat the heat and uh, be done a little earlier today. But it's supposed to be high 80s and we'd rather not be out here when it's high 80s. So let's get after it, huh? Yesterday, we got a lot of the disassembly done. You can see that we've gotten the closing wheel alarms off, press wheel arms, discs, gauge wheels, boots and we're really in a good position to start to do a lot of the prep work so we can get it assembled. We've got to take these disc subs off. We've got to get these shafts out first. Pretty much we're gutting this thing down to the bare, the bare shank. Yeah, so this machine is going to plant better than it's probably ever has or at least as good as it did when it was brand new and for a lot less money than new. That's what these guys were talking about is is uh, they looked at trading and it just wasn't economical. Anyway, we'll get back to work and keep you updated here. Yeah, that's not moving. So that's what this is about. I'm gonna get this hooked up and we're gonna go from there. Well, it's about 1.30 and uh, we got hungry, so we decided to take a little pit stop. And uh, these guys are master chefs. Look at these bad boys. So I'm gonna have a brat, a couple brats, and we're gonna get back at her. And it is about 90 degrees out there. We're in the shade, we're really thankful to have these sweet trees near us. But uh, over there, it is very hot. Is that yummy? Oh. Whoo, you guys want to talk about hot? We got it going on here. It's about 4.30. Look at, <laughs> look at Josh's arm. That's gross. <laughs> My arm isn't as bad. I just don't sweat or I don't work or something. But uh, we got Josh over here finishing up putting the press alarm bearings in the pivot. Yeah, they even stay ready so you know where they came from. And I'm down here on the creeper, sitting or laying on the job as usual. It's uh, 
it's a tough life being the camera guy. I'm disassembling the old bushings in, these, in this arm and I'm putting the new ones in. I've got this one all set up to go. And so without further ado, here we go. Got them both pressed out. The new ones are in. Now we're just gonna back it off, do it all over again. You know what's sweet about having the air gun is every time I pull the trigger, I get a nice blast of cold air. All right. A few more to go, like half the row, but you know, half is only 16, so that's not so bad. Hey, have you seen Drake? He's lost. <laughs> we haven't seen him for a long time. Drake! We're taking a break without him. But let's go see where he is. <clears throat> there he is. Hey, hey. <laughs> I'm wondering where you went. All these hogs. Yeah, I disappeared. <laughs> Actually, I passed that upstairs, obviously. Man, those take a while. Pressing yeah. out the bearings is the easy part. Yeah. Cleaning them and getting the yeah, bearings mean, and seals like, back they on. Had, they had like a lot of rust buildup, so I tried using their wire brush. Looks like you just got a few left there. Yeah, and uh, eight left. Or eight left. left good. We're probably going to wrap it up soon for the day. Sounds good. Get back out here early in the morning again. We were out here at 6 a.m. We're going to do it again. So, yeah. thanks for watching, guys. Stay tuned. I know this is probably getting long, but all right, we'll talk to you tomorrow, day three. Well, good morning. It is the beginning of day three. We got here about 6 a.m. and got going to try to beat the heat again today. And uh, we're hoping today won't take that long. Uh, we're really in a good position. And we've got the trailer repositioned so we can get our air holes over to the other side of the drill here. Drake here is finishing cleaning up the spindle nuts. We got all the hubs cleaned, that's here. So we'll be pushing those bearings in and getting all the seals wear rings in place. And uh, today's gonna be a good day. What do you think, guys? Yeah. I, uh, I told them if they do a good job today, we'll get to go to the state fair. So it's a little bone out there, right? Yeah, we're gonna, we're gonna hang out at the state fair and enjoy a, a job well done. So let's get after it. Good morning, buddy. Nice of you to join us today again. Wow. These guys aren't happy. Hey, buddy. He's mad. <laughs> Sorry. Whoa. Just an old country road and a crop duster. Wow. That's cool. I don't know if you guys have noticed from all of our footage of the drill, which obviously you couldn't because how could you see the crops? The corn here and the beans are amazing. So apologies to all you guys struggling out there. There's a lot of you. And uh, in our area of North Dakota, it's not that great. Montana's terrible. Mount Canada, there's South Dakota everywhere. But look at the ears on this thing. I'm six feet tall. This is, this is traditional Iowa corn right here. This is how they get 300 bushel. Wow. And the beans. We got beans up to my, my legs. Lots of pods. the crop duster. Crops look great. The farmer did point out, however, Ryan, that uh, August 10th of last year was the time they got that uh, storm that literally wiped out a bunch of Iowa and Wisconsin. So guess what? It doesn't count until it's in your bin. And anything can happen. So we're, we're rooting for all you guys. We're praying for you. My kids pray for you guys all the time. He's always like, pray for the farmers. So yeah, it's... Uh, it touches us too. 
we're making good progress. Slow but sure, the heat is coming. We've got these bearing pivots in. Uh, the covers are mounted. You can see here that we've got the spindle started. If I wasn't so slow, I'd already have the bearings in the hubs. And that's what I'm doing in here, in my little hideout in the cave here, in the shade. And you, what do you have to say for yourself? You're very focused. Hello? You're after that. Hmm. Ready? <laughs> it never gets old for him. So far, it's not old for me. Good dog. I like him. All right, back to work. Well, we got a lot left to do, and it's getting late. We uh, we really want to go to the state fair. We just got to make that happen. Wonder if we could. I've seen this happen before. All right, here we are. <laughs> that was easy. We're at the state fair here, Iowa State Fair. And uh, we've had a great time walking around. This is a great place to go and, and uh, have some fun times, get some great food, and spend some time with some loved ones and some friends. Enjoy the footage of our time here. Check out the big hog, the big pig, or the big bull, and uh, we'll go from there. We're trying to find the biggest boar, the biggest hog, something like that. Are you the biggest boar? Huh? You look pretty big. We're in the wrong area now. Do you guys know where the biggest boar is, the biggest hog? Oh, at the end of the building? All right, thank you. Oh, hey, there you go. Well, we gotta go way down over there. We didn't know where we are going. There's something massive up here. What is this thing? Introducing the massive pig. Wow. You are huge. What do you have to say for yourself? Better keep my hands out of there. I think my car weighs 3,000 pounds. Hey guys, we've really enjoyed our time in Iowa. We're, uh, we're just kind of getting the finishing icing on the cake here at the Iowa State Fair. Really guys, thanks for watching. Appreciate you. If you're a farmer who would benefit from some of the solutions you're seeing, please give us a call. We'd be happy to help you out. And for the rest of you, hey, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. Click the like and subscribe, it helps us out. Anyway, God bless. Talk to you later. Yeah, we've had a good time at Ryan's farm here in, in Iowa. Thanks for hosting us. Thanks for having us out. Thanks for coming down. Yeah. You guys did awesome. Thank you. Very so you'd nice. recommend us again? I'd recommend you, yeah, absolutely. All right. Good. We like recommendations. All right, guys. Out. God bless. Thanks for helping us keep farmers farming. <laughs>